Okay, so in this set of problems, it's um, talking about, uh, gives you information about remainders. And when you're doing remainders, the division algorithm, which is this right here, uh, is essential. And that says the dividend, which is the number you're dividing into, so the big number, equals the quotient, which is your answer, times the divisor, which is the number on the outside, plus the remainder. So for instance, if we had 5 divided by 12, or divided into 12, the quotient would be 2, and the remainder would be 2. And so the dividend would be 12 equals 5, or the quotient 2, times 5 plus 2. So that's always how it works. And so there's a uh, remainder is always going to be more than a multiple of the divisor. See, uh, 2 times 5 or 3 times 5 or whatever is a multiple of 5. And so the remainder is always going to just be uh, whatever more than the multiple your dividend is. So when you look at your problem, what is the smallest number greater than 1 that has a remainder of 1 when divided by 3, divided by 4, and divided by 5? Well, that means that for each of these, divided by 3, divided by 4, divided by 5, to have a remainder 1, then our number has to be 1 more than a multiple of 3, because it's a remainder 1, right? So it's 1 more than a multiple of the division di div divisor. So it's got to be 1 more than a multiple of 3, 1 more than a multiple of 4, 1 more than a multiple of 5. And so you could maybe go through and start listing out your multiples until you found one that has all of those, or you might remember that the... Um, if you want to find something that's a multiple of a set of numbers, that's called a least common multiple. And so in this case, the least common multiple of 3, 4, and 5, since they have no common divisors, is just 3 times 4 times 5. And so 60 is the smallest number that is a multiple of 3, 4, and 5. And so if we want them to have a remainder, then we have to add 1 to that. And so the answer is 61. 61 divided by 3 gives you 20 remainder 1. Divided by 4 is 15 remainder 1. Divided by 5 is 12 remainder 1. Okay, so for 2, we do the same thing. Now notice, uh, when you do these problems, remember that your remainder always has to be smaller than your div dividends. And so if that was ever not the case, then you'd have a problem. But in this case, it is. So we want to find the least common multiple of 5, 7, and 8. I've been nice to you on this problem that, again, 5, 7, and 8 have no common divisors. So you just need to find the least common multiple of this. And so you can find that by multiplying 5 times 7 times 8 which 5 times 8 is 40, 40 times 7 is 280. Our number that we're looking for is 3 more than a multiple of those, and so the answer is 283. Now, uh, remember that you do have to know how to find the least common multiple, and so if you don't know the least common multiple, then you'll need to look up how to do, do that. But in general, multiplying together is a good first step in doing that.